Um, hello there, this is Megan Patrick giving an review. Light Star Wars the set number 9677. X-Wing Starfighter and Death Star. It's here too. And I have bought it at my local toy store here. And I have it for about $23 or something. Um, maybe it's 23 here. I have just converted it on my own. And you could find it on your own. Local toy store, I think. Because... Yeah, if you can, then go see our on eBay. You can, you can just search it and look at its price. Yeah, whatever. Um. Anyways, we're we'll start at the instruction booklet. You have 26 pages. Okay, there we go. We can see it a little. 36 pages and next you have their other sets I have reviewed this one it's the Ender Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper Battle Pack and you have the Light Clone Trooper and Commander Droid 1 I have reviewed those two I don't have it, the other sets that here that I have reviewed anyways next you have the Ace Assault game doesn't have any comic yeah, it's Ace Assault 2, and yeah, that's all for the destruction booklet, yeah, anyways, to the minifigure, as usual, you have one minifigure to excellent pilot, um, yeah, I think it's like the other pilots on the snow speeder, on the battle of hot, um, there's no difference, yeah, front rows are printing without no light printing, but they give him a color of green, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, back printing also, and you have helmet printing with a with those blue signs of the rebel alliance or insignia, whatever you wanna call them. Yeah, that face, yeah, that rebel face with a glass, orange glass. Orange glass on his eye, covering his eyes. Anyways, next is the X Wing. Let's just put the instruction booklet there. On the front, you have the cockpit. Um, this piece serves as the cockpit, while this piece, circular piece, silver circular piece, serves as the astromech droid. Uh, uh, boarding the X-Wing then you have four engines there as you can see four and you have this wings that can move up and down for their attack position four of them can do that of course and on the top you have this detailing with those wings detailing again thread that Identifies your rogue, but yeah, they don't have any of that lines that identifies. And you have these guns on um, blasters, four of them, one on each wing. And on the back, you have some more detailing of the engines, and also here in the back. Um, there's a detail on the back of the X wing, yeah. Under the X wing, you have you have a little details, or maybe not, no, there's no details here, but yeah. You have these pieces, and this for the um, stand here. I'll show you how to put that later, like the other sets. Yeah. You just put it like that. Um, yeah, I hope you can see it, but I'm going to give you a closer look. You see it? Yeah, and then you put it like that. Uh, um, sorry if you can see it again. Okay, like that. Okay, so we're finished with the X wing. Um, gotta say, honestly, the X wing doesn't have much features in it, but still a pretty nice set. So here's the stand, also in black, like there are sets.
Um, I'm just gonna remove this. You have printing here. Um, it says X-Wing Starfighter, X-Wing Belt, and Yavin 4, along with the LEGO Star Wars LEGO. Um, yeah. Well, next is the Yavin 4. Yeah. As always, as always, it looks like a big ball with just colors. Yeah, but it, I think this is more, um, um, awesome than the Death Star. But my, my most favorite in this planet is the Endor. Since it looks like a real planet like Earth. Yeah. You have this piece, which you can put a string and hang it. But I use it as, um, handle. And if you don't want to hang it, you have this stand. Yeah, so it won't roll. You know that. Anyways, I'm gonna compare it. Um, just a moment. Um, I'll be comparing it to the Titan Interceptor. I know I have compared it on the Titan Interceptor review, but I don't have any other Starfighter set. So, yep. Back. So the Starfighter um, is smaller, of course. Um, no, shorter. The uh, Tie Fighters, oh, sorry, Tie Interceptor. Sorry, I have said later that it's Tie Fighter, but yeah, it's Tie Interceptor. Um, Interceptor store. Um, X wings. Um, yeah, wider. It's wider. I think it's longer. Um, yeah, it's longer. Well, that's all for my comparison, but yeah. I really like the set, and I would recommend it to you if you want to do some stop motions. Yeah, because it's pretty great in stop motions. I mean, it's just a small set, so, you know. Um,. You can do it in step motions or building sets because it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. Anyways, to the box. You have this box, which your palette is um, pictured there. The x wing palette, of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. Series 2. Um, I don't re really remove the price. Um, because it will damage the box. It's... 86-12, there's the LEGO Star Wars LEGO, there's the awesome Dark Mole printing, oh, LEGO, or whatever. There's the set, there's set number, and the name, series 2, with the planets there. Yeah, there's the, the Yavin 4, hanging a string on, the other sets I have reviewed. First is the Endor and ATST, but I haven't reviewed the best in Twin Pad Cloud Car yet. Yeah, I haven't bought it yet. I have uh, maybe about next month or maybe next week. Yeah. But yeah, it might take a little long. Yeah. I'm saving for it. Yeah. Whatever. Um, yeah, that's all for my review and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope I might do some more reviews and also please leave a comment, rate, and rate and also subscribe and made a force video and goodbye.